And we are back with more Chips Challenge. So, in this level what you have to do is move these blocks through that teleporter in the middle to be able to get to the end. Uh, well, you move these blocks through the teleporter into the water to get the chips. The trick is, you can't follow the block in. You have to push the block in, go in from a different angle, otherwise you push the block into a corner and you can't finish. Now, I think for this, uh, for this level, I mean, for, for every level in the game, there is a quote-unquote quote, quote unquote, perfect time that you would get by abusing every trick and never making a single mistake and I think also using the long second glitch or something, whatever it's called. But uh, I'm not really interested in that. But uh, I will explain the long second glitch. This this game has so many glitches. If you really want, you can uh, just just Google. Uh, it'd be like Chips Challenge Advanced Tricks or something, and it'll show you so many of them. I think the long second glitch is something like it's it's because of the way uh, it works. The timer uh, it'll count down, but. Um, Every time it counts down a second, it like counts down from 6,000 or no 65,535 or something, and then because that's how many uh, that's how many bytes you can store in a in a I think an 8-bit program or something, something like that. And then when it gets all the way to zero, it'll count to zero, and then it'll start over back from 65,000 whatever. And during that time. Uh, it, it's a long second, so the, that one time will last a lot longer. Or, or that, that one second will, will last a long time, longer than it should. So that's how you can, um, that's how you can beat, uh, best times by abusing that glitch. But I mean, that only happens once every 65,000 seconds. So I think I think for the most part those times are ignored, or or they're kept separate or or something. Even then, you still have to do a perfect game with that long second glitch active. So honestly, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm not one for doing high scores in this game. There's no way that I'd be able to do it uh, well enough to do that. Like. I don't have complete control over my character in this game, and I don't know all the tips and tricks how to get um, like the fastest time by, oh, if you go over here and you push the block uh, right instead of up, then you can uh, shave three seconds off your time, stuff like that. I don't know how to do any of that, so uh, I'm just going to not do it. I have run into the, uh, the occasional bug in this game, though, where... Uh, Sometimes, um, sometimes when you, I, I think I, I had a bug once in this level where I was in this spot, I got the chip, stepped back onto the fire and died because I didn't have a fire boot. But it was in my, I did have it in my, in my inventory, so I was really confused. I did it again, it, I, it's never done that bug again, I don't know what it was, it was really weird. Sadly, I don't have proof of it either, so I can't. I can't show people what happened. It was really weird. And maybe that's just, um... Maybe it's like a one-at-a-time thing when, like, certain things line up exactly right, and then... And then that happens. I think there's also, uh... There's another, uh, advanced technique for this game, which is something like, um... Coding the game from within or something? It's really weird, because... The, the data for the game is stored in the level, and then you can, like, reset it or change it based on something you can do. I know absolutely nothing about it, I just know it's a thing. But I, I, I read up on it, and it, it looks crazy, like, the, the setup required to do it. It's really weird. But I think you can do so many weird things by doing that. It, you have to have, like, three three tiles on the same block or something and then and then move into the block I don't know I'm probably totally wrong on this 
but um, that's what that's what I see. Let's just go up here. Let's show off the thief. This is the thief. If you touch him, all your boots are gone. Wee. Faster out. There. So move the block up to the brown button. Move down and through. We're done. Cell blocked. Oh yeah. Hey look, there's a hint up there. Let's go see it. Trolled. Press control R to restart the level, because you're stuck here now. This is basically um trial and error the level. Uh I don't know if I remember the solution, but I know I know most of it. Cause I remember getting stuck on this level for a really long time as a kid too. So, I would play this level, and in my head I'd be going, right, down, 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 up, right, right. I think I have to go this way. I don't have to go this way. I did it wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, this level. No, I can't remember where I went now. This way? Yeah, this way. Actually, that's another, uh, that's a visual difference between the Atari version and this version. Uh, in the Atari version, it doesn't turn into a block, the one you're on, until, uh, until you leave the block. So I, I wouldn't be standing on a wall, basically. It's just a small visual thing. Got it. Nice day. Yeah, fun. Oh, the walker. Yeah, uh, the blue walkers, what they, they, they move randomly. Whoa! Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. We're good. Okay, there. Those blue walkers move randomly, so, uh, it's best to stay away from them. Ah, castle moat. Here we go. So there's a little castle at the end, made of blue tiles. Those blue tiles uh, may or may not be real. That's how they work. If you step on it, you could get a wall like this or a blank tile. Now what you're supposed to do here is fill in this block to the right, fill in this block to the right, and then push the blocks across to get all the way to the moat by going like this. Push the block into the water, make dirt, pack it down, continue. But um, I've actually never done that because I was bored with this level, so what I did is I went all the way up to here, do, 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 all the way to the end, and then look what the developer put here! Flipper! Uh, I've never beat this level by pushing the blocks into the end. So I'm just gonna use the flipper. That is, that is like one of my favorite examples of developer secret. You could just go do, 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 done. I'm not doing this. Hit all the sockets. Done. Digger. Ah, this level. I remember this one. I, w I remember this one being annoying, but I was never actually stuck on it for a while. Basically, it's, uh, get the chips. But uh, you can't do that, because you'll die. Because the way the game calculates movement, monsters go first. So if you were to try to steal that from him, uh, you'd get killed. At least I think that's the way that happens. Uh, I could be. I'm probably messing myself up for the future here, but whatever. Come over here, Toady. That's oh, not a toad. They're they're called teeth, so I guess I might as well just say that. I used to think these were like. Uh, I used to think these were toads. He was like, oh, they're just toads with giant lips. That's what I thought they were. Turns out uh, that's not right. They're just called teeth. Because I never looked through the manual for this game until I was like, I don't know, 13 or 14. And I thought, then I looked through it and I saw, oh, there's tips for hard levels in here. Well, that's fun. Done. Tossed salad. Oh, yeah, you don't even need to get the chips in this level. 
This uh, there's a there's a this level's busted, and I'll show you why that this one is too near the end. This one I didn't even know was busted until I looked on the wiki and saw that it was. I didn't get it for the longest time. But I can uh, I can show you why you don't need to get any chips as uh, as we get closer to the end of the level. I think we'll do this level and we'll uh, pause again. We're starting to do fewer and fewer levels because they're getting longer. Oh, can't step in there. Oh look, fire! There we go. Go up. There we go, we're pretty close to the end now. Now, I think what's supposed to happen here is... Down. Down. Da, 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 da. There's a yellow key. I think what the developers intended was for them to put a socket in here somewhere. But there's no socket, so you don't have to get any of the chips. So there's that. Uh, this one is... This one's fairly short. I think I could do this one, actually. Oh, not there. I remember this level being really fun. I don't know if I have to put more blocks through here. I think I do. I do. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Get to fly up here. Get all the chips. Make it to the exit. Uh, there's a glitch on this level that I'll, I'll show you guys after. Uh, and it also involves involuntary movements. But uh, it can actually really screw you over if you uh, if you mess up. If you're not if you're not well, not watching the block ahead of you, you can actually push it off the ice and then uh, lose. Okay, there we go, done. Okay, now let's go back and uh, let's uh, let's show you guys the glitch that can happen here, like that. Uh, what you what you could see is that the block went through the through that turning thing. I pushed it through because I am going along. Uh, you could I can actually go through there myself. Uh, let's let's do this. I think I can go through there myself if I do it right. Okay. Uh, maybe I can't. I don't think I can actually, but I can I can push the block through because if you have an ice skate, you can go through there. And uh, that that's another thing with involuntary movements. You can um, you can break the game a lot with them. So if I go like this, I can do it here too, and then I die. So just a just a. Another little bonus thing. Anyway, I'll see you guys for the next episode.